Wait, so the next Superman is going to be black? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the elephant in the room. DC announced some time ago that they will be creating a black Superman movie and this has caused quite a stir. And you know what? I get it. The DCEU has been on pretty shaky grounds since its inception in 2013 and it's always struggled to really gain the fan base and success of its Marvel counterpart. So when people found out that Superman, one of the only successful characters out of the DCEU, is seemingly getting replaced for no apparent reason, it was definitely going to lead to a lot of controversy. And like I said, I 100% get it, but at the end of the day, a lot of hate this decision is getting is from those who don't understand the source material, and I've chosen not to do a quick Google search. Because Black Superman is not a new character. He's actually been around for a while. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about Val Zod and Calvin Ellis, two black supermen who aren't Clark Kent. Val Zod is the creation of Tom Taylor, Nicola Scott, and Robson Rocker. He first appeared in 2014's Earth 2, issue 19. As the title suggests, Earth 2 is an alternate reality. It differs from the standard one that most people are used to. This world has many of the same superheroes, but there are slight differences, such as Bruce Wayne's father becoming Batman, and the Green Lantern is Alan Scott, who was actually the original Green Lantern in the 1940s. Val Zod is the name of the second Superman in this universe. Yes, Kal-El, aka Clark Kent, still exists, but at this point, he was presumably a villain. Val is also a Kryptonian and he was sent to Earth along with Kara zor and Kal-El by jor and Lara. But unlike his counterparts, Val was educated by his parents' knowledge whilst travelling in the capsule. This contributed to his pacifistic beliefs as his parents taught him that violence was the worst and stupidest way of overcoming conflict. When his capsule reached Earth, he was found by the government research scientist, Terry Sloan. He offered Val asylum in order to protect him from the outside world. This resulted in him becoming a recluse, and he soon developed a fear of large open spaces, also known as agoraphobia. He was then approached by the new wonders of the world. He wanted aid in fighting against the evil brainwashed Superman. And although reluctant at first, he went on to join them. He was actually trained by Lois Lane, who in this universe was the Red Tornado. To make a long story short, because this isn't a history video, Val overcame his fear of open areas and he threw away his parents' ideology for the most part. He then managed to take down the evil Superman, who wasn't even Superman, he was a creation of Darkseid. But oh well, that was Val Zod. The next black Superman is Calvin Ellis of Earth 22. He was introduced in, in Final Crisis issue 7 in 2009 and he was created by Grant Morrison and Doug Mankey. His origin is almost identical to that of the original Superman. He was sent to Earth by his parents to escape the destruction of Krypton. He was then adopted by the Ellis family. Once his powers activated, he went on to become his Earth's Superman. He eventually formed his universe's Justice League and after many years of service, he was voted in to be the President of the United States. This way he could protect his country politically and physically. He is mostly known for defeating an evil Superman. He was a being that attempted to destroy all the Supermen in the universe. Calvin then created the Justice Incarnate, which is essentially the Justice League for the multiverse. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get into the drama, okay? Many people just don't want black Superman. Henry Cavill is actually a well-liked Superman. Most people just don't understand the need to replace him. And I kind of agree with this. I don't even know why I got this in my hands. But, but, I will tell you why it may work. It may work. The reason why Black Superman worked in the comics is because 
he was the Superman in another reality and not the main continuity. During the same time period, the original Superman, Kal-El, was still the main Superman in the main DC Universe. And he was featured in Action Comics, Superman, Trinity and Justice League. Not to mention Man of Steel was released around this time as well. There was no shortage of Superman. In fact, most people ignored Val Zod. Even though people are talking about him now, there wasn't much of a stir back then and people weren't hating on characters they didn't know about. So calm down. Never be disrespectful. Calm down. Okay, so calm down. Calm down. So what do I think? I'm not exactly happy for it. Like many people, I really do enjoy Henry Cavill as Superman. But the only thing is, he's been around for quite a while, almost a decade in fact, and he's not done much, which is unfortunate. It's been so long that there are now rumours that he's going over to Marvel, which would be a huge slap in the face for DC or Warner Brothers. On the other hand, the CW have recently launched their Superman and Lois series, which is apparently doing really well. So it's not like, we don't have Superman in live action. Well, anyways, that's it for today. Let me know if you're down for a new Superman on the big screen or not. So don't forget to subscribe. God bless, say less. I need to go to bed. <laughs>